Are you like most zone three and four vegetable gardeners I know? Do you plant your whole garden after all danger of frost has passed and then wonder why your spinach and lettuce turn bitter and bolt? Did you know that even in cold climates, you can plant many crops in early spring and then again in midsummer for a late fall harvest? With careful planning, you can even get two crops out of one bed. Hello, this is Stephen from Short Season Garden, and I offer tips and tricks for gardening in any climate, but especially for short seasons like here in Zone 3 in Eastern Canada. So subscribe to my channel, give my video a thumbs up and a comment, or you can check me out on Instagram or Facebook at Short Season Garden. If you live in an area with long-lasting deep snow and some extreme temperature dips, it's hard to not envy warmer climate garden podcasters and social media gurus who can get two or three crops out of each garden bed every year. It's true that short frost-free seasons limit our heat-loving crops. It's also true that even our most hardy crops, or even our cold frames themselves, may not survive the rigors of a Zone 3 winter. Still, with careful planning, Succession planting of cool season crops is possible even in cold climates. A cool season crop is basically any crop that not only will withstand a hard frost, but actually grows better in the cool shoulder season. While heat loving crops such as tomatoes, cucumbers, corn, peppers and squash won't withstand the frost, Spinach and lettuce enjoy the cold and will go to seed quickly in the heat. The flavor of kale and rutabaga is actually improved by frost. And if you haven't tasted carrots that have been sweetened by frost, you owe it to yourself to try them. Don't plan succession planting in the space where your tomatoes, peppers, squash, cucumbers, pumpkins and beans or corn are going. The sad reality in zone three is that there just isn't time. They need to be in the ground as soon as they can be protected from frost. And there just isn't enough season left after harvest to plant anything else except a very hardy cover crop such as winter wheat. But cold tolerant crops are another story. Lettuce, pak choy, spinach and other greens are very frost tolerant and can go in the ground very early. They may even need a shade cloth in late June, early July to keep them from bolting. In mid-July, once the spinach has bolted, you can replace it with another frost hardy crop like carrots. These carrots will be really sweet in October. I have even planted carrots in August, but they didn't have time to grow to maturity. While they withstood the cold in November and December, they simply didn't have the minimum 10 hours of daylight required for growth after the 1st of November here at my latitude. There are many fast growing greens that can be planted in August, however, and by this time space is opening up. Peas that were planted early are often harvested and gone by mid-July, leaving room for another cold hardy crop. Beets, if harvested young, can leave early garden vacancies. Garlic that was planted late last fall is usually harvested by the end of July, even in zone 3, making room for fast growing spinach. While the spinach can and should be direct sowed, most of your greens should be started indoors to give them time to reach maturity by the time day length is too short for new growth. By mid-July, June bearing strawberries have finished bearing. New plants can be started from the runners. These plants can be set out after early potatoes have been harvested. 
While you won't get another crop this year, if adequately mulched for winter, they will provide you with fresh strawberries next summer. Lastly, don't forget that October is the time to plant next year's garlic, when you pretty well have the choice of the whole garden since most other crops have been removed. Maybe year-round gardening is a bit unrealistic in Zone 3, but with careful planning we can extend the season way beyond the 100 or so frost-free days from late May to early September. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and a comment, subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you in the next video.